Okay, so what we got Juggernaut from Marvel taking on Doomsday from DC. Um, this fight to me isn't as close as people are saying it is. Doomsday, uh, Doomsday's main ability that that wins him fights. I mean, it's basically a Tomb Force thing. It's, it's like uh, his adaptability. Basically, if he's fighting someone like Superman, he would grow like Kryptonite spikes and able to beat him. If he's fighting someone like the Flash. He would somehow, uh, and you know how Flash attacked him with the Speed Force, Hell Tap it to some type of force to be, you know, the counteract the Speed Force, which is taking it way out there. Let's say uh, Wonder Woman, she's um, <clears throat> prone to, uh, she's prone to losing to things like piercing weapons. Doomsday obviously will grow a weapon strong enough to pierce her. But the problem with uh, Juggernaut is he's empowered by Sidorak, a being trillion of times stronger than Doomsday would ever be. Doomsday's strongest form is nowhere near, can't even come close to Juggernaut's strongest form. We're just talking about base forms here. But even in his base form, <clears throat> Juggernaut is empowered by a being that would love to kill something like Doomsday. He will give Juggernaut every and anything he needs to beat him. There's nothing Doomsday would be able to adapt to. There's nothing he can actually do to the Juggernaut to beat him in a fight. And battlefield removal is off the table because I can use that in any in, in any instance ever. So when people bring up uh, like Goku versus the Flash, Goku would just be a farm. But that's not I can't do that for that though. So we're not going to do that for this either. And Doomsday wouldn't be a far juggernaut. Her just keep fighting. And in that case, Doomsday only does physical attacks. Juggernaut is impervious to physical pain. There's nothing Doomsday can do that will hurt the Juggernaut. Everything the Juggernaut does to Doomsday will hurt him. And I'm hearing cases where well, Juggernaut, well, if he beats him, Doomsday will come back stronger. Yeah, after he kills him, he will. He cannot beat him in the first encounter. In the first encounter, Doomsday will get destroyed by the Juggernaut. He wouldn't even understand what he's fighting. He would never understand that he's getting empowered by something else. The only thing that Doomsday could do is run away. He's not wired to do anything like that. He will keep fighting until he dies. There is nothing he can do, I'm gonna say it again, that can physically harm the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut is, is a magic-based character. Um, he's, he's empowered by a being that, that, that's something that Doomsday can't even comprehend that will give him enough power, give him everything he needs to defeat someone like that. So in a comic book, maybe, Doomsday might can win by doing some tactic. But in a fight to the death, Juggernaut stomps Doomsday. Doomsday is a, is a very strong fighter, but Juggernaut is a terrible matchup for him all around the board. Like, I was thinking about this before I made it. Like, Juggernaut beats him in every conceivable way possible. Like, Doomsday, because Doomsday isn't going to get stronger as he's fighting. And if he does, he'd never find a way to beat something like the Juggernaut. He never would. Juggernaut's just, he's too strong, he's too powerful. And he's empowered by something that Doomsday just doesn't have on his side. Now, if the Doomsday had something that he was empowered by, maybe that adaptability thing isn't going to be strong enough to beat someone like Juggernaut. I got Juggernaut mid-difficulty winning this fight.